Now he's going to send it a little bit, perhaps. Here we go. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. 6S, low KV. That's the keyword of the day. We've been running four cell batteries on our quadcopters for quite a while now. That's kind of become the standard. But recently, Catalyst Machine Works started floating this idea that if we take our batteries from four cell up to six cell, but then take our motor KV down so that the RPM at the prop is the same as it would have been on four cell, then, well, is something better? I don't know. There's been a lot of questions about this and I'm going to the park today to meet my friend Evan Turner, Heads Up FPV, the fastest pilot I know to really t put this to the test and see what the effect is. Come on, let's go. All right, what do you got there, Jeff? Uh, Immersion RC 8-way lap RF. Uh-huh. What's it going to do for us? It is going to track lap times of up to eight pilots at one time. Ooh. Accurately track lap times. And actually, you're doing some testing. You got your GoPro with you today? I do. What's that for? This is to power it. And this we run back to the laptop. Huh? And plug it in and it just works. Yeah. What's, <laughs> what's your GoPro for though? GoPro, I'll be running at about 120 frames per second. And I will record each lap and compare the lap time from the GoPro to the lap time from the 8-way and see how accurate they are. Oh, that's exciting. Yes. Tell us about your setup real quick. Okay, so this is the Hyperlite Floss 2.1. This is like my main rig. I have the 5mm C-Train arms with the Hyperlite 2207, 2522 kV motors for 4 cell. Uh, I'm using the uh, Hobbywing uh, FC ESC stack, the 40 amp X rotor stack. The TBS Unify Pro uh, HV uh, VTX with the Axi antenna. It's the Axi um, UFL? Uh, the stubby, this is yeah, the stubby. stubby. And then I'm using the Runcam uh, Micro Swift 2 for the camera. And I'm using a Pulse 1550 100C uh, LiPo HV pack. Is it overcharged right now? No, it's 4.2. It's 4 .2. And so are the 6Ls, okay. 4.2 okay. volts per cell. Gotcha. So, should be pretty fair test. And the motors are, these are, you said, 25... 22. And the other ones are... 1722. Which is almost exactly, yeah, if you work the math, the right RPMs. Yes. The first test we're going to do is most laps in two minutes, which Evan tells me is a common way of qualifying at big multi-GP races. I wouldn't know, not having been to any big multi-GP races. But basically, they send all the pilots out, they race for two minutes, and whoever finishes the most laps goes to the top of the, the leaderboard. Uh, the only challenge is that you have to be able to finish two minutes of flight time, which for a lot of these racers is pretty challenging. Evan tells me that he that would always overcharge his packs to 4.35 volts per cell uh, in order to even be able to have a hope of making it. Today, he's running at standard 4.2 volts per cell. Let's see how he does. The lap yeah. times are actually not even the focus. One lap. That's two laps. Jeff, are you running a two-minute event? Are you running a two-minute event? Okay, great. It's three laps. Nine, six. Four laps. Nine flat. Five laps. Oh, oh no. Nobody's perfect. Six laps. At one minute, he's hitting 14.0, 13.9. under load, so. 9.9. Nine. 
still in there at 14 0. 19. I've lost count of the last. Starting to sag. Starting to sag. So now is the point where you're starting to lay back to yeah. keep it from sagging out on you. 30 seconds left. 75% of the way through and you're having to lay back. And one, two laps are getting slower now. 13, eight, 13, six, 13, seven. And six. That's yeah, back then. At 12, 4, 12, 3, 12, 2, 12, it's done basically. 11 laps in two minutes. And the battery was at 12, 9 ish when he finished. Now let's see what he does. Uh, you want to run 6S or you want to do fastest lap while you're still on 4S? Uh, I'll do fastest lap. All right. 2405, 2522, 6S. Molly Wop. Yeah. Wow, he's going to Molly Wop it. Hashtag Molly Wop. Yeah. Fastest lap. Good. I go. There you go. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Damn it. Nineteen four is an eight point two average though. That's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that's an 8.2 average over two laps, so that's... No, that's a... No, that's a 16. 16. Sorry, my bad. I can't... I'm not good at math. Is it... Hopefully it works this time. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to try and beat that, or is 7-8 going to be your official? I'll take 7-8. All right, so now we're going to go to 6-L. So, um... The race is I had a faster one than that, I think. I recall the lap times were around 10, or mid 10. I don't think you had any eights on your last, on your fourth two, two minute. No. Nine. So if you get more laps, we're at one minute and we're around 20, 21 volts, so I'll have to back out how, how many volts per cell that is, but... 9-3. 45 seconds, still holding at 20. So, we're definitely not laying back yet. We're still putting in eight second laps at the end. Nine seconds. Fifteen seconds. Twenty-one volts, still holding it around twenty-one volts, barely splashing. Eight. Nine second lap. All right, and the total lap count. Twenty-one four. Twenty-one four. What volt is that? What is that right now? Twenty-one four. The lowest was twenty point four. It was getting down to twenty point four. Let's see how many laps that was. How many laps did you do on four S? Eleven laps on four S. And how many laps did you do on six S? Thirteen. Thirteen laps. 
and the time obviously the laps were faster yeah because it's the same you were putting in about 10 second laps you're putting in eight to nine second laps on 6s yeah and i was able i was watching your voltage and there was no point that you could have gone longer oh yeah i could have done at least another lap or two yeah the, but there was no point you know how you get to the end of a battery and the voltage just starts going <laughs> somewhere around 12 volts to, yeah. for a 4s you weren't there yet you were at like 20 divided by six is I don't know what <laughs> but we'll do the math and so yeah. <laughs> that's the argument that you're making yeah does it also we need to put in fastest lap yeah we got one more test to do which is fastest lap do you you probably know the answer already because this is not your first time do you put in faster laps as well it's pretty and we will get right to those results it but I got to take 20 seconds to thank the people involved with getting this video made this video took a whole lot of work from a whole lot of different people and companies I got to give them a shout out Evan Turner of course heads up FPV the pilot Jeff Simpson who's running the timing system the timing system is the lap RF eight way from immersion RC also massive thanks to catalyst machine works who consulted with us throughout this whole test Evan sponsors Pyrodrone and others, Pulse Batteries. All of this stuff is down in the video description. And if you're watching this video and you've been convinced to give 6S Low KV a try, please say thanks to the people who helped convince you and helped educate you about it. Not me. No, don't go become my patron or any of that stuff. Help out. There's so many sponsors involved with this video. Go help them out. Massive thanks to them in the video description. Let's get to the results. You ready, Jeff? Oh no, I knew that was gonna happen. You down? Oh, he's up, he's up. HQ V1S 50-50. V1S are surprisingly durable props. Is that 51 that you're on now? Talk to him while he's putting a fast lap. Uh-oh. Now it's in his head. Check that one. Wow. I feel like that was awfully close. To yeah, it was. I just went full throttle. <laughs> what do you think it was? I think it was an 8-2. <laughs> we didn't get a 7. No, no, did we? no 7. We didn't do it. You, you looked like you... What do you think? It was... How do you think it was flying? It, it was a little bit gustier, but I think that... The forest might have been a little bit faster, it was a little bit lighter. I think it was. It looked like you were swinging a little wider on the turns yeah, exactly. to my novice eye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I, I definitely could have flown a little bit better. I think I flew better with the four cell, but uh, I think it was pretty close and I don't think it was I, close. a tenth of a second is going to really make me lose a race. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I wonder, I was thinking if, the, if you could have gotten two more laps out of that six cell on the two minutes mm -hmm. could you have used a smaller pack no no it's just and, been, and been lighter and faster i the reason i like the 1250 so nice is there's no sag like with the four cell it was just a constant decrease in lap time no i mean i mean like maybe instead of a 1250 like a, a 1050 that's what i'm cell. saying the 1250 i've flown i have 1050s and they okay. it's just like a 4x it I starts see. high and then just slowly decreases in lap oh. times and speed and they're sag Consistent. So, yeah, the 1250 is just like the, the last lap feels just like the first lap, really. So if we could sum it up, maybe what we could say is that 6S is not necessarily making you faster on any given lap. It's more, but it's, it's more consistent. Yeah, more and consistent. giving you more endurance. Yeah. So, so you're not getting sag at the end. Yeah. So I might not have faster lap times, but the total race time 
like for, from beginning to end will be faster because I won't have slower laps at the end. There you go. Well, that's the final word.